Today, the FDA approved two powerful new treatments for sickle cell disease. One of them is the first therapy approved in the U.S. that uses a gene editing tool called CRISPR. The inventors of that tool won the Nobel Prize for Chemistry in 2020, and now it has the power to change the lives of people battling this painful disorder. Two years ago, it was hard for Johnny Lubin to play for long. The 15-year-old was born with sickle cell disease, an inherited disorder affecting the red blood cells. Johnny was in and out of the hospital his entire life, dealing with bouts of extreme pain. It was kind of hard for me to like do things like have fun and stuff because I'd always have to be worried about if I'd have a pain crisis or not. Until now, the only hope for a cure for the estimated 100,000 people in the U.S. with the disease has been a bone marrow transplant. But like more than 80% of patients, Johnny couldn't find a donor. We were desperate. So Johnny and his family decided to join a cutting edge clinical trial. I was worrying that I might be like get like superpowers or something. <laughs> like. Johnny was one of the first people in the world to have his genes edited using CRISPR to treat his disease. And I'm like, wow, that's that's pretty cool. <laughs> and scary. And yeah, and freaky. In sickle cell, a genetic mutation causes red blood cells, which carry oxygen around the body, to be misshapen, like crescents. They get stuck in the blood vessels, causing severe pain and decreased oxygen to organs. CRISPR allows scientists to make a precise cut in DNA. Cells are removed from the body and edited to turn on production of a different form of oxygen-carrying cells. It worked, and instead of superpowers, Johnny now has the chance to be a regular kid. Well, Johnny and his family now celebrate his treatment day as his second birthday. The treatment is a months-long process, and it could cost between $1 and $2 million per patient. How that cost will be covered is still being worked out right now.